Hey everyone, Loganetics here, and it's time for System Test 61 featuring the Radionics Kid, David Epi. <laughs> So for today's setup, we have a Radionics D545S, I believe, Wheelock RSS rebrand, SG355R, speaker circuit module, that's not hooked up to anything. We have an FCI MS7A. People say that these won't work on newer protocol, but it's running fine. They're down in brownies. In here, this is actually an SC355 now. Uh, I traded the Notifier FSP851 with Dewpoint 8900, and he gave me this. Here we have the Wheelock MT24 LSM, set on continuous horn, but it's being coded by the panel to code 3. And we have another MS7A. Now over here is something pretty special. So remember a long time ago how these were hooked up to the system? Well, now they're back. So starting over here, we have a box, and that's housing the Kitta Relay that I had up before. This key switch, it's a disable switch, and I'll get to that in a moment. You can see here is a monitor module monitoring the relay, and here's a relay module that can trip the relay. And this disable switch cuts power to the module so it stops working, and it also gives the panel a trouble. Watch. Now it takes 15 seconds to register, so I'm not going to wait that long, but I will show you guys later. So we are going to test this today. And in the garage, we have the Wheelock MT24WM, also on continuous horn. So let's start by testing the smoke alarm in the kitchen. So because of the nature of these smoke alarms, they go off for around another 20 seconds after they shut off. Fire. Fire. So that reset. So now these are just acting as horns. Fire. Fire. And there we go. Now once it resets, I'm gonna set off one of the devices on the fire alarm system. So David, which device do you want me to set off next on the fire alarm system? All right, so like I said earlier, the relay trips the other relay. So when I set this off, this trip relay will activate and it will basically send a signal to these uh, because of how this works. So watch, ready? Three, two, one. And now we're gonna go ahead and disable this and you'll hear a trouble register soon. And you can see it now has an invalid reply 
because you can see that module is not responding anymore. All right, sir, what's next? Uh, the new smoke. Maybe the magnet just sucks. There we go. I forgot to mention, both MTs are on high volume. Let's go see those strobes. See the radionics is flashing away. Never knew the RSS made noise on FWR. I knew about this though. All right, what next? I love the way these echo. Those are my favorite alarms. I don't blame you, they're awesome. Okay, so the reason why this made noise is because this is a loud RSS. But it also could be a rebranded RS. Not thinking about it, it probably is because this is an RSS and it's pretty much silent except for when it actually flashes. But you can hear this has a lot of capacitor noise in the background. And this does too, if you listen. You can hear these are not buzzing anymore. So that explains why it's probably an RS. All right, let's test the 355R. Favoritism. David, is there anything else you want to say? Uh, Radionics is cool, and subscribe to Loganetics. And subscribe to David Happy. Thank you all for watching this video, and thank you, David, for requesting the system. Pretty nice setup. We got a lot of Radionics stuff, and I got to utilize some different addressable pull stations. Uh, so, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Have a nice day.